Hi, it's Megan. So since it's September, of course, I've already started hitting the holiday collections. And I actually have Vice 3 on my eyes, which I really liked, and I'm doing a video for it as I'm doing this video. But I'm doing a video here for the Urban Decay Full Frontal Lipstick Set. So this is $39, and you have, I guess it's like $43 worth of lipstick and eyeliner, or lip liner, which makes it, I don't know, an okay deal, but it's cute. They have that Urban Decay pattern. And then it opens up to these cute little lipsticks. So these are the kind of, this size is the exact same size that they give when they give free samples of lipsticks, if we're lucky enough to get them. And this has three limited edition shades and three regular shades. I've got Liar on my lips right now. And then it has a full size ozone lip pencil, which there's no point in me swatching, but I'll do it anyway. I didn't even take pictures. It swatches to completely clear. I love these because they just make things last and look better and apply more evenly, especially with the darker colors like reds, but that's just me. So what they say, this is a mini, a, di a limited edition mini lip set loaded with six mini shades of Revolution lipstick plus a full-size 24-7 glide-on pencil. And they're, so I guess this is matte x-ray orchids in black and white with glossy red icon. And they say Urban Decay's pigment infusion system provides Revolution lipstick with its super creamy texture and same pigmentation, superior color dispersion, extended wear. And it's got it's supposed to make your lips look filler, fuller. Has jojoba oil, avocado oil, cocoa butter, and shea butter leaves, leaving your lips moisturized and soft. So I've done a couple videos for this particular line, including two of the shades in this video. So 69 and Gash, I've already done videos for. Um, I'm not gonna go into great detail on those, but I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. But I will say what I like about the formula. I like this formula. Some people do, some people don't. On me, I like that it's a soft, lighter formula. It is creamy, it's not drying. And I just, I like the Urban Decay shades. I'm biased, not everyone will agree with me, I know, but I like them. I particularly like the reds and the more muted neutrals. And these usually last a good two, sometimes two and a half, three hours. The reds do stain and so do some of the darker pinks. So what colors and we get, so the liner, lip liner is 0.04 ounces and the lipsticks are 0.035 ounce where most Urban Decay I think are 0.11 or 0.12. So they're about a third the size. The first Three, Lady Flower is a bright rose pink, limited edition. Crush, a hot pink. Illicit, a sheer baby pink, which I really love. Gash, which is one of my favorite reds ever, which is a deep red with tonal shimmer. Liar, which I have on a pinky brown nude. I love this shade. I actually don't have this one. I love this. This is like one of those My Lips But Better. Not quite as wash you out as a lot of other nudes, but really just a pretty, very flattering, amazing shade. And like I said, I love the nudes in this line. I love Naked, and I love Naked 2. Naked 2 is probably my favorite, like, super neutral, almost no color nude that I can actually wear. Anyway, the last one is F-Bomb, which is classic red. So, let's go through them. We've already swatched Ozone, which was completely sheer. But it does actually make your lips last longer. So they're little. They're really little. Like I said, about the third the size of a regular lipstick, but they seem smaller. So this is Liar. I just, I love this color. I'm so glad I discovered this color. I will be buying this one. In fact, of the whole collection, this might be my favorite. And next, and I'm going to do these, take these off on camera so you can see what impact my natural lip color has on these. And also how they apply. I didn't do this when I first started doing videos, but then I learned that even if I don't apply them perfectly on camera, at least people can see how they go on. So this is uh, Lady Flower, which they call Bright Rose Pink. And I thought all these were pretty pink. This to me, I don't know, I always refer to something like this as a carnation camellia. It reminds me of flowers. It's a warmer pink on me. Definitely very opaque and just a really rich, 
um, not quite dark. I would say a medium to dark pink. But um, I have warmer undertones. I think this is a great color for someone like me with warmer undertones. But it's also going to work really well with people that have cooler undertones. I can see this on a lot of a lot of people. Okay, the next one, Crush. Crush is one of their lip pencils. And I think it was a lip gloss, too. This has never been my favorite color. It's a super hot pink. I actually have a lip gloss from a set in this color. But it, does, it was a lip pencil. Super bright, cool pink. I can't wear this every day, but I have to admit, as I look at it, okay, I have to admit, I do like it. It's bright, very bright, but it is pretty. And if you've got cool undertones, it's beautiful on you. The next one is a really cool color, Illicit. This is probably my other favorite new thing that I haven't tried before. Gash is one of my all-time favorites, so. Gash is like in a category of its own. I do get slight staining with Crush, by the way. Not a lot, but slight. Okay, the next one, I should have put this one on before Crush. Oops. Um, this one they call Sheer Baby Pink. I love stuff like this. This has almost a lilac tint to it. And it's got a real sheen. I just love this color. I wish this was part of the regular collection. Kind of a lilac, sheer, medium pink. Really pretty. Gorgeous. Super gorgeous. I want this in a full size. Okay, now we're going to get to the fun ones. Which one do I do first? I'll do Gash first, although it's a tough call. Gash and, both Gash and 69 slightly stain on me. So, But they're both so dark, I don't think it matters. Gash is this deep red, almost a blackened red a little bit. It has little micro shimmer in it. This has only been available on the Urban Decay website, but it's not, to my knowledge, a limited edition. I love this color. It's a strong red, though. The last one is 69, which they say is a classic red. 69. Let's actually put it next to Gash. So you can see Gash is a little bit more blue, blackened, and this is 69. It almost has, I don't want to say pink undertone, because I think it really is just classic red. I'm going to look like a vampire in a second. I'm going to be doing a tart video after this. I'm going to have to go clean up my face. I don't think I applied that well. Anyway, super bright. Um, I do like this color. It's not a red that I can wear every day, but like for nighttime or when I'm going for like a real bold statement red, it's beautiful. Um, overall, I think this is a really fun set. I love this as a gift for someone who has not tried any of the Urban Decay lipsticks. And I do think that the limited edition shades are super, super, super pretty, especially Illicit. And I fell in love with them. So anyway, this is my review on them. I'm gonna keep it short. Please review on, or please subscribe on YouTube. Comments or thoughts are welcome. If anyone wants to send me their Illicit, I will take it. I wish they would make it a full shade in their collection. And that's it. Happy holidays, sort of. Bye.